Alright, what's well, chillin' dudes, it's here, welcome back to another episode of Captive Minecraft 3. In this episode we're gonna be ironing out... Ironing? Ironing? Uh, punny. We're gonna be ironing out some of the final details. So, to start off with, I still have no idea what to do with the Honor Rail achievement. I would like to complete all the achievements, but if the Honor Rail is not possible, I will not bother with it. Although, again, the Firelanders have said every achievement is possible. So I've no idea what to do with this one. But we are going to be trying to complete the Beaconator. And we're going to be attempting when pigs fly. So I've been doing two things to try and complete the achievements. First of all, I'm going to get distracted with this wheat. So I've done a few things. Do we have any bone meal? No, we don't. Okay. Concentrate, Torbro. Concentrate. I've done... Two things. First thing is, I have a Luck of the Sea 2. Wait, am I so Luck of the Sea? Yeah, Luck of the Sea is for treasure. I've got a Luck of the Sea 2, and I have... Ah, uh, Luck of the Sea 2 Fishing Rod, which I'm going to try and catch a saddle with. And as soon as I get that saddle, I'll ride a pig off a six block high drop, in which we should get the that achievement. I don't know what we're doing for on the rail. And then, over here, I've started work on and iron farm so we're going to be bringing up some villagers up here and i made the shoot all the way go up here so let's just drop some stuff up here actually i'll take that um uh, we can drop that there signs as well that's for the water and all of that and that should be good i should probably make another chest up here oh uh, we have trees here Ooh. Let's grab this. I've been busy and I've been talking with people after Minophon, which it was amazing. I've keep mentioning. But I've been talking with CDF man who's an awesome guy. And yeah, it's just lots of fun. And that's what I've been doing during all of his grindy work. Uh but this little how do we how do we even get in this? Let's jump down here. So this chute goes all the way down to the bottom and it's got water and signs, which did take a very long time. We're not going to go all the way down. I just realized we have another option, which is to uh, use the sign to teleport back down. Oh, hey, diamonds! Diamond armor everywhere! Yeah! Alright, let's use the sign. And it goes all the way down to here. I had two villagers in this hole, and they both died to a zombie attack. But th this is where the chute goes all the way. God damn it, people keep trying to go through this room and the door. Uh, we have one villager here we'll send up. Do we have water? Yes, we do. We'll do it now. And we also need another villager. So we could probably just grab some of these guys. So let's first send this guy up. There we go. Should be good. I was waiting to do this on camera with you guys before I would uh, send these guys up. Otherwise, I would have done it a bit of time ago. Yeah, we have more signs as well, so we could do that, that, and... How are we going to do this one? We could just do sign there, like that, and then water like that. You should be good. Oh, bugger. Do we need an extra... Oh god, uh, let's put water there. Okay, looks like... Yeah, looks like uh, villagers need water on every block in order to travel up. Which is good, because I did that. Then we can pick this water up, grab the sign, and we can escape. Sweet. Oh no, we could grab the villager from over here as well. Dang it! Let's do the same thing. And then we should have three, we can go breed some villagers up there, and then maybe we could go fish and talk about the future of Captain Minecraft 3. I do want to end it very soon, uh, regardless of whether we complete the series or not, because I feel like the map has lost basically all of its wonder, like, every, like a lot of what was possible and what the map was built for is now complete. God dang it, we're gonna go teleport. Um, how do we do this? Do we go through here? Ah, no, 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 no! 
Dang it! No, no, not the rabbits! Not the rabbits! There we go, alright. I have a lot of problems with water because we lit everything up in this map. So, stuff like that where we water everywhere. It's not very good. Alright, should be good. Alright, let's teleport up to the surface. We should be seeing some of the villagers up here by any means. And then they should be put into a holding cell. Oh, are they not up here? Wow, they're not up here yet. Hmm, that's gonna take a while. Any time now. Hey, how's it going? Right, so the villagers are gonna go in here. We're gonna bring one. How do... I don't know how to make villi 1.8 villagers breed. 1.8 villager breeding. I think you need to trade with them and then they can start breeding with each other. So maybe we need some doors. Alright, let's go make some doors. This, I'm going to be learning this alongside you guys. I did follow the 1.8 snapshots, but I haven't really experimented with them. Oh, the free oak doors are so weird. And I don't know why the doors are backwards as well. It used to be the other way. Maybe they're correct this time. Oh, we got the villagers up here. Sweet. Let's grab those doors and then let's jump up here. How you guys doing? Looks like one of them made it up safe. And then the other two should be coming along. They have to travel a pretty long distance because we're on 250. And then down there was about 30, I think. So 220 blocks upwards. Which is a lot of signs as well. Oh, there's one. Sweet. How's it going, guy? And then once we get the third, we can chuck them all into one little chamber. And at least these guys get sunlight as well, so that's good. Let's chuck some doors over here. Do they need blocks on top? I don't know too much about villager breeding. I'm not that much of a genius. Let's chuck some doors like this. Yeah, but Captain Minecraft 3 has been a pretty good daily series. And you guys have like express that you guys have enjoyed it. Oh, there we go. There's the final one. Nicely done. Hey, you guy. But it's gone well. Uh, let's tr drop that off and then make some more doors. I don't think I've traded with all of these guys, so we're going to have to go trade with them as well. God dang it. Do do. Do. Nine doors should be... I, I don't even remember how many doors you need for a village. And I haven't made an iron farm in so long either. Usually I just have an infinite villager breeder. I would like an infinite villager breeder though for these guys. Right, that should be enough. What do you guys want? String? I don't want to give you string. Coal? I could give you coal. You can cook my fish. And you need an emerald. And you get you can cook my fish as well. <laughs> right, let's get down. And jump in here. Right, we need emeralds. This is what we've got, by the way, for our resources. We definitely don't have enough for a full beacon. But it's a decent amount, at least. Where's our fortune pick? Do fortune pick. Fortune efficiency. Oh god, where is it? But I'm going to be making this video as well. I think I'll make a Life in the Woods episode, which is released earlier. Where is the fortune pick? Oh, oh well, I'll bring all of this coal along. Uh, but I will be making a Life in the Woods video, basically outlining what's been going on the last two weeks for Life in the Woods. Uh, and in the Life in the Woods mod pack, we will be exploring the, uh, the environment. I haven't actually done it yet. So, I'm only uh, gesticulating, well, guessing what's going to happen in the episode. Hopefully I don't die, because it is a Life in the Woods mod pack. Right, you should be good for breeding, I think. You... I see you would cook my fish, but in fact you're going to be giving me emeralds for coal. Okay, you should be good on breeding. Uh, that's a terrible trade. And you can trade as well. Right, is there anything else that needs to be done? 
I don't think so. They all seem pretty happy. I'll probably do some work off camera for these guys as well. Right. Uh, there's not much else to do. I could show you what's down in these caves, if you're wondering. This is what it looks like down here. Oh, some stuff I left behind. But I mined out a lot of the caves underneath here, where in the first episode we were just explore. We used the boat to get all the way up here past the guardian spawners, which I still think was the best option. I'm not sure how everyone else did it. But there's that chute where all the villagers came from. Uh, I saw some guardians over here as well. So there must be another... I think there's a spawner in the corner. Spawner in the corner. Just over here maybe. So we'll quickly go explore it. Alright. But yeah, I'm probably going to end this series soon. Because it is taking a lot of time uh, at the same time. Where is the spawner? I saw a spawner over here. Maybe it was the another corner. We'll have to see where the guardians are spawning. But it's been a good series. And it's gotten a lot of growth. And you guys have seemed to enjoy it. There's been a lot of input from the comments. And I want to say thanks to Answer Boy, uh, the YouTube name which I can't exactly pronounce. Because I don't exactly know how to, because it's an Asian name. Not being racist and all, but every time I try to say an Asian word, it just results in <laughs> racism, offence. Where's the spawner? Oh, I guess there was no spawner over here. I saw guardians. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, I'm actually going to have a look at a 1.8 villager breeder and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright so I'm following this 1.8 villager infinite villager breeder tutorial from a guy called Impulse SV. I'm not going to show you like the tutorial or anything but uh, this is basically how it's going. <laughs> okay, uh, I will link a, the tutorial down below if you want to go check it out. I think it is a pretty cool tutorial. I would have never guessed how to build it. It's not like previous tutorials. Oh, dang it. Uh, let's break this trap door. Oh, uh, but yeah, it's based around a potato farm and... Oh, ow. That was not intended. Alright. Come on, villager. You've got this. We need one villager down here. Uh, supposed to use windows. No, 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 no. Goodbye. Supposed to use glass, but no, we're not going to use glass. We could use the leaf of the ladder here, probably. There we go. So we got one guy there. And then we need two villagers in here. One needs to be a brown villager. Uh, so we... Oh! What, the, uh, the baby villager over here, actually... Uh, there is a baby villager over here. He's a white guy, so... That's all nice and fancy. We're going to have to transfer some of these villagers over to the potato farm as well going to have to require ah, going to need a lot of AFKing but it should be good in the end it should all turn out well so let's just move this guy over here I think the villagers need about 8 stacks of potatoes each so that's quite a lot of potatoes needed. We don't have eight potatoes, so what I might do off camera as well is might grow up enough potatoes to fill the villagers, and then hopefully with the infinite villagers, uh, which end up in that little part over there, we can start putting them into uh, the what's it call it, the iron farm, and have some iron in this little place. So that should be all fun and dandy. At the very least, all of this place. Uh, all of it. Uh, this area is very compact, so we won't really lose anything. Oh, sweet. That guy's grown up. I wonder what you offer. Oh, you buy paper. Ooh, you're going to be a good guy to know. Ooh, Dev Strider 3. Dang. No. Dang it. Oh, God. Issues. 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 Mayday. 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 
At least these guys don't move around so fast anymore. Mayday! There we go. We can leave that guy in there as well. Go on. Go on. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Onwards. Actually, I like how the villager AI has changed. These guys have not really... They're not so annoying anymore. They are a lot pl more placid than usual. Yeah! No! He got rid of the potato! No! Ah, snap. Alright, how, how do we get out of here? Ah. Seriously? God dang. Can I punch you? I'm gonna punch you. Hmm. I guess you don't move. I wonder how to get you out. Maybe... Like this? Oh, this would work. This way. This way. Here, yeah, boy. God dang it. Villager. Seriously? God dang it. Move. 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 I'll leave you there for later. Let's see. Oh, the damage is not much. We could hove this down. But the idea is based around farming villages. We do need a brown villager in here, and then the baby villagers will eventually go down that trapdoor. We've got a villager underneath there as well. We need a carpet. Can we... Oh, we can't tr chuck an iron trapdoor there. Ah, oh, come on! Villager, come on! Dag, nab it. One thing as well, the Far Land has disabled beds in this map, so we can't sleep nights off. So it was very frightening during the night to for all of these guys to walk around in, I guess. Sweet! And then... Looks like they are getting lots of potatoes, so that's good. And then this should be working uh, pretty soon. So I wonder if I'm going to get any potatoes from this. We can make like our own little potato farm. <laughs> oh, do we have any bones here? <gasps> yes! This is gonna be fun. Alright, here we go. Alright. All for you. All yours. Come on. You know you want it. Oh, come on. Actually, I really like how the villagers harvest crops now. They don't really act fast enough, though. And then these two villagers should start making some baby villagers, and then they should all go into that little place over there. We're going to have to disable this infinite villager breeder as well when we make the iron farm. Unless we make the iron farm really far down. Aren't these guys doing anything with the potatoes? This is like the best use for the bones that I've got from the <laughs> skeleton spawner. Oh, there we go. You can do it. There we go. This is probably what I'm going to be doing off camera. Ah, uh, this is going to be fun. Oh, I didn't even plant all of the potatoes. You guys are silly. Will it? And then down here, we've got this villager opening and closing doors a lot. Sup? Sup, guy? How you going? Well, that's got to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, yeah, just showing you what's going on with the iron farm. Well, in time, so... Cheers for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. Next time, we'll probably finish up the iron farm. Later, guys. Have a good one. Oh, come on. Come oh, on. Come on, come on, in the episode in style. Ah, ah, the baby. Bye, guys. <laughs>